own land, Fox, you're about to see some pretty dramatic video of a new product being used in the war on terror. And believe it or not, it's kind of a pain. It's used on pickups right now. But tonight we'll show you how it's gone from those pickups all the way to the Pentagon. Four, three, two, one. If you're looking at some disturbing video given to us by a company called Line X, they're simulating what can happen to somebody, in this case a dummy, if a bomb went off near their office. This dummy obviously has some problems. The dummy placed in an identical office next door. This one seems to make it through just fine. What's the difference? Prior to the explosion, the wall that survives was sprayed with a substance called Paxcon. Yet it's also elastic, so it can flex and take the brunt of an explosion. I know it works. Steve Decker went from owning a franchise that sprays pickups to actually spraying parts of the Pentagon to make it safer. You can't not help but be moved by that. And to know that what we're doing now has the potential to save lives there, it's very, very important to me. The company makes no promise that the paint will hold a building together when something happens, but they do believe it can dramatically cut down on injuries and deaths. In a, in a, in a typical bomb blast, 80% of the casualty comes from fragmentation of the building. And the whole idea, the whole concept behind the Paxcon product is to mitigate that fragmentation by containing it and increasing the exit time for the occupants of the building. In order to test it, Fox bought some cement blocks then took them to the Line X building and had them sprayed with that special anti-tear paint. For us, there's a blue dye in it. It can be any color, though, or even clear. Then the blocks were taken up to a nearby roof for the test. First, the untreated block. Two, one. The untreated block dead on impact. Now the treated one. Two. Nothing happens. One more time. Ow! One. Nothing. Thank you.